Hello, it's me, I'm back, kinda. I'm sorry it's been like... Four, five months since I've last done a video. I believe my last video was like... Mid-beginning of December of 2008. And now it is currently May 27th, 2009, so... Before five months. Um, I'm gonna go with five. So... Sorry, I just didn't want to do it, to be honest. I was just being lazy, I guess. Um, and, you know, it's kind of disheartening when you only get, like, 30 views, and you're like, oh, i got to be clever for 30 people, when probably 20 of those views are me on 20 different computers. Okay, well, I decided I'll start it again. I need something to entertain me, I guess. So, new word for today. Random word plus noun complexity. I'm going to go with average just because I haven't done words in a while. So I'm going to like flip through like 100 before I find one that I know recently. So New word, noun, average. Okay, this is too easy. Somewhat uncommon. I feel, or maybe, maybe it was the right difficulty. Okay, dear God, stickiness. So, welcome back with stickiness. So, when something is sticky, it performs adhesive functions to make two things, you know, stay as one. When something is sticky, it's not a true adhesive. It just makes it harder for these th two things to not be touching. So, like, if you're eating popsicle and the popsicle melts and the sugar goes onto your hand, it becomes sticky. And then you touch something and it sticks, kinda. Stickiness. Um... So there's some cool news. I have some video editing software now. And it's actually legal, so don't try to challenge me on this one. Me and some guys, we bought Adobe for a business that we're starting. So it was expensive. But I have Adobe stuff, so ha, I can edit videos now. So just for fun, here's a picture of a popsicle uh, up here. So, stickiness. When something is sticky, it's harder to pry it apart. It's like a mini adhesive. Which was a word I wish I'd rather have gotten. Adhesive. Next word. <sighs> no. Boring. No. No. Okay. Well, this one's going to be kind of fun. Cauldron. Cauldron cauldron. It's like a giant pot. Nobody really uses pauldrons anymore. I mean, they're associated with things like um, witches. Uh, you know, they would have that big pot that looks like this. That's a, that's a cauldron. Um, so they would have like a big pot, and they would put things in it. You know, the witch's brew, right? Some eye of newt. Some salamander toad tongues. I meant to say tongues, salamander tongues. Um, cricket feet. I mean, like, I don't know what goes into a witch's brew. I haven't really been performing any things like that recently. Anyways, so I'm going to do three today. So we started with stickiness, then we did cauldron. And, um, I'm going to go for a completely obscure word. I'm not going to get it, so this might take, like, a minute to find something. Uh, no. Oh, dear God. This 
this word is just too interesting. It's like a shape, a combustible gas, and another combustible gas. It's tetranitromethane. I have no idea what tetranitromethane is. Um, so I need to put my two cents in towards what I think it could be. And... Okay, so I'm thinking of some sort of combustible gas to make things go faster. So, thinking of both nitro and methane, both combustible gases that make things go fast. Well, methane, I don't really know it's used much anymore. I mean, I don't think it's used for movement anymore. I mean, since the Hindenburg, which was, I'm pretty sure... No, that was oxygen. I, or was it methane? Okay, I don't really know. I'm assuming it's some sort of gas that you combust to make things go faster. Okay, I'm going to do one more, because that was kind of boring. Oh, please be something cool. No. No. Okay. I actually know what this one is. A dodecahedron. Okay. It's a shape. It's a 12-sided shape. They're commonly used in... um dice. I mean, I play D&D with friends, right? And I actually like the dodecahedron. It's not as cool as the 20-sided dice, but it's the 12-sided dice, right? So it's, as, it's bigger than a D6, which is an average, you know. So this is a dodecahedron. I have a black and red one, and I also have purple ones, because purple is my favorite color. Anyways, a dodecahedron is a shape that's used commonly in dice and Dungeons and Dragons, which I play. So, looking at this site further, I noticed that there's actually a random sentence generator. I read one of these sentences already, and they make absolutely no sense, but I will leave you today on this sentence. So, a random sentence. The glove stores the trifle. Yeah. <laughs>